Okay, here we go. Uh, trig. What are they? Trig equations. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to find all of them between 0 and 360, otherwise known as 0 and 2 pi radians. So all my answers are going to be within this range, and hopefully you'll, you've seen what that means, or you'll pick it up during this video, or you can just ask a clarifying question. All right, so I'm just going to get stuck straight in. What I've done here is done a simple one, and then a few variations exploring different concepts within this field. So first off, I'm just going to get cracking. 2 cos theta equals 1, and then cos theta equals a half. Theta then will equal cos to the negative 1 of a half. Now, you can chuck that straight into your calculator. And your calculator will say that this is 60 degrees. And that's wonderful, except we're not 100% sure yet whether that is our answer, because we must check with the unit circle. What does the unit circle tell us? Well, see at this point back here, we had cos theta equals 1 on 2 it's positive 1 on 2. And so I refer to my all stations to central and I check when is cos theta positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So our 60 degrees is correct and then it also applies in quadrant 4 so I'd go 360 minus 60 so that would be 300 degrees. So there's our first one, hopefully you're already familiar with that. So let's go on to our next one here, the eccentricity is the period. The period has changed. The period has changed. So we deal with that a little bit differently. Whatever number is in here, I take the range I'm supposed to uh, supply my answer in, and I multiply it by that number. So our new range is currently 0, theta, 720. But Mr. Walker, aren't we supposed to answer to that? Yes, we are. We're going to return to that. Sorry, I'm a bit harsh. Huh. We are going to return to that. It's just that we have to double it, and you can, you'll see why when we return to this part of the question. So for now, I'm going to ignore this. I'm going to pretend this is just theta. The whole thing is just theta. So I answer it like a normal equation. I go 10 theta equals minus 5 on 8. And then I go, theta is 10 to the negative 1 of negative 5 on 8. So I chuck that ridiculous uh, thingy thing thing into my calculator. Shift 10, um, negative mm -hmm, 5 on 8. And it equals. Don't worry whether it says positive or negative, we will work that in a moment. This says that the magnitude of the angle, because that's all we're interested in at the moment. Um, degrees, minutes, seconds, oops, see, oh, don't do that. I just press degrees, minutes, seconds, and the 2 theta as degrees, minutes, seconds, the size of the angle is 30, that's a 3, 32 degrees, just, and zero, 0 minutes. Isn't that funny? It's nice and neat. This is measured to the nearest minute, so I'm being very messy. Okay, that is the size of the angle, but I need to check. What do I need to check? I need to check what quadrants it exists in. And the quadrants it exists in are all stations to central. It's negative, so I'm not in quadrant one. I'm not in quadrant 3, I must be in quadrants 2 and 4. Now, 32 degrees in here means I'm going 180 minus 32. So this is not correct. That's not actually what I want. I want an angle that, that is this big, but it's in quadrant 3. So I go 180 minus 32. So that's 148 degrees. So 2 theta equals one. 48 degrees uh, and then I want it in the fourth quadrant which is 360 minus 32 degrees 
is 328 degrees. Now, what's happening is we need to keep going. We've gone around once, we've done one lot of 360, I need to go around again. So 360, I'm going to encounter again here. So one, two, three, four quadrants. Fifth quadrant, we're starting again. Sixth quadrant, so 360 plus 180, 360 plus 180, but then back by 32. Oopsie. So 360 plus 180 is whatever the heck that is for 540. 540 minus 32 is 508 degrees. Now some of you might notice when we were here we were at 148 degrees for us to go all the way around and get back is how much? 360 so look at this 148 plus 360 is 508 when we were going around the first time we reached the fourth quadrant we found an answer we actually have to go around a second time to get a full 720 so we can go from here and add 360 and that's what I'm going to do. 328 plus 360 is 688. But why do we do that? Let's scroll down a bit. It's because of this. We now have to find theta and not 2 theta. So I divide both sides by 2. So my 148 becomes 74 degrees. My 328 becomes 164 degrees. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. My 508 becomes 254 degrees. And my 688 becomes 344 degrees. So we doubled, what's the degrees by the way? We doubled way back here, we doubled our range way back here because we knew later on we would have to halve all our answers bringing our answers back into the range. All right, You can pause and dwell on that as long as you want. I must keep going. So here's a new one. Why is this new? Oh okay because we're still finding between 0, 3, oh uh, sorry, theta, theta and 360. It's just that this time our period has gotten wider. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, last time, when there was two thetas, we had to multiply our range by two. This time, our theta is being divided by three, so I take my range and I divide it by three, so I'm now finding theta between zero and 120 degrees. And you'll see why in a moment. But for now, let's just solve the thing. 5 cos theta equals 4. So cos theta equals 4 and 5. So this theta thing is worth cos to the negative 1, 4 and 5. OK, so just let's just check our quadrants real quick. What quadrants are we in? We're positive, so we're in the all stations to central. We're in the first and the fourth in theory, but we only need to find it between 0 and 120. This is not within the range, so we do not have to find this fourth quadrant at least not at the moment. And in fact, we won't have to at all. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just find the value of this. Theta on 3, and I grab my calculator, cos the negative 1, shift cos. Uh, 4 and 5. 4 and 5. Equals 36 degrees and 52 minutes. Now make sure you keep this one in your calculator. 
we are in the first quadrant that's all we're going to have to do we do not have to do the fourth quadrant and here's why because like last time how we found all those many answers and then had to divide well this time we found our answer we then multiply both sides by 3 so take the answer and just whatever answer you got times by 3 and we get 110 degrees and 37 minutes after rounding if you're confused about what's happened there I just want to give you one idea the parent function of cos looks a little like this between between 0 and 360 or between 0 and 2 pi what's happened is we have made the period a third as long that is between sorry we've made the frequency a third as big we've made the period three times as long that is this thing has been stretched so here's 2 pi here's 4 pi here's 6 pi this one cos has been made three times as long so can I do this effectively something like that anyway it's been stretched out so within our 0 and 2 pi range within our 0 to 360 we're only going to have the answer once that is 4 on 5 it's only going to hit once yeah okay Okay. All right. So moving right along. Again, if you have any questions, please send me an email or come to a tutoring session. This one looks nasty, and maybe it wants to be, but we're going to make it not nasty. Notice how there's a zero here. It wants to be a quadratic, but it's not. I'm going to divide everything by cos theta. I'm divide everything by cos theta remembering that this squared here means that this is actually cos theta times cos theta if I div everything, divide everything by cos theta 0 divided by anything is 0 something divided by itself is 1 and cos theta times cos theta divided by cos theta cancels one of the cos thetas leaving cos theta I just wanted to show you that one because it's a cheeky one it actually becomes mind-numbingly easy now cos theta equals 1 well when does cos theta equal exactly 1? when? when we put it into our unit circle we're used to finding things within between 0 and 90 between 90 and 180 between 180 and 270 or between 270 and 360 that's what we're used to finding we're finding used to finding things within the quadrants but if I draw cos theta where does it start from? it starts when there's a parent function it starts at a height of 1 and ends at a height of 1 so in this case when is cos theta 1? well cos theta is 1 when theta is 0 and right at the end when theta is what is that value there? 360 degrees or 2 pi. Okay, because there's been no change to the amplitude, there's been no change to the period or the phase. Uh, yeah, okay. So, hmm, next. Uh, oh, why did I do this to myself? Okay, so this one is a phase shift phase shift why? because here we have in here the theta is having its value shifted by an amount now again I'm going to ignore this and the range in this case uh, we'll call, we're just going to find it first so we'll go 0 theta to 360 we're going to find it first and see if we need to worry about it because I don't think we'll need to worry about it so let's find what the heck we're working with by rearranging it so 4 sine squared I'm just going to treat this as theta for now I will explain what's going on 
and I've got 3 and then I'm going to assign squared theta equals 3 on 4 now you remember this means this whole thing is being squared so I'm going to square root both sides sine theta equals the square root of 3 on 2 but it's positive and negative ok so when is sine theta equal to root 3 on 2 well if you, if you want to do this on your calculator there's no problem with that let's just rearrange it theta minus pi on 5 uh, equals sine to the negative 1 negative 1 of root 3 on 2. If you know your um, your triangles, your 60-30 triangle, then root 3 on 2 is 60 degrees. But if not, you chuck it into your calculator. Uh, if you're not sure of this or you can't remember it at the time, sine to the negative 1 root 3 on 2 will also give you 60 degrees. Okay, so C theta minus pi on 5. Well, let's just change it briefly because 60 is the same as what in terms of radians? Well, if pi is 180, then 60 degrees is something compared to 180. So let's simplify this fraction. It's 1 on 3. Multiply both sides by pi. X equals pi on 3. And hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So theta minus pi on 5 is equal to 60 degrees, which also happens to be pi on 3. Now hold the phone before I take this any further. That's a 5. That's a 3. Let's go right back to here. What does this tell us? sine theta is positive or negative therefore using my unit circle sine theta is positive or negative all stations to central we are in every single quadrant now what does this mean oh hang on so sine theta equals pi on 3 so that's the size 60 degrees I'm going to do it here and here and they're going to be exactly the same answers but one is in degrees and one is in radians and I'm going to make one edit to this before I end this one here so all stations to central I know that the seismic angle is 60 degrees so it's 60 it's 120 it's 240 and it's 300 if you're not sure how I got to that um, I just went it's 60 away from the horizontal here so it's 180 minus 60, 180 plus 60, 360 minus 60. And so I get 60, 120, uh, come on brain, what was it, 240 and 300. In radians the same values are pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3 and 5 pi on 3. And if you think about it, if one third of pi is 60, you can just see the relationship there. But now what? See, what's happened is this whole waveform has been shifted by this amount, this pi on 5. But if I rewrite this down here, pi on 5 is 180 divided by 5. Actually, I'm just going to edit it on the picture. Pi on 5 is the same as 180 divided by 5, which is 36 degrees. That's one fifth of 180. So all I'm going to do now, in this one here, is add 36 degrees to both sides. Theta equals 96 degrees, uh, 156 degrees. 276 degrees and 300 and whatever 36 degrees so it's like we've taken our answers and we've just shifted them 
Yeah, I'll let you shift that one. We're just adding pi on 5 to both sides. Um, it'll probably be in terms of fifteenths when you get your answer. I'll let you play with that. Whoa. Okay, last but not least, I know this is a long video. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to save this quadratic for another day. I will do this quadratic in a different video. Thank you and good night.